everyone. We're the sales team from Elmo USA, and we've got a video today for you on how to use an Elmo document camera in Google Meet. Let me make some introductions. We have Mike Mitchell, our Western, West Coast and Rocky Mountain Regional Sales Manager. We have Andy Bell, our New England Regional Sales Manager. Mike Olomedo, who handles South Central and Southeast. And my name is Ed Holmwood. I'm the Senior Sales Manager for the Midwest and the Mid-Atlantic area. So the purpose of today's video is to show you how to use an Elmo document camera in Google Meet. Now, none of us are experts in Google Meet. A lot of us are learning this, you too, for the first time. But we want to give you some quick tips on how to make the most of the Elmo document camera in Google Meet. So as you can see, we're on screen fine. You can see we're in Google Meet. We have the toolbar in the upper right-hand corner, and I've just brought up the toolbar on the bottom. So on the bottom toolbar, you'll see some things like meeting details, a microphone, a red phone, a camera icon. Ignore that camera icon. Turn on captioning. Present now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit the present now button. And what I'm going to do is open up my uh, ImageMate cloud-based uh, software that I'm running in my Chrome browser on my desktop. And I'm going to go ahead and present now. When I pop that up, you'll see present your entire screen, a window or a Chrome tab. We're going to go ahead and present a window. And it's going to open up and show me what's on my desktop here under the share an application window. So we're going to go ahead and choose the imagemate-c.com web page. We'll share that. And it's presenting screen. And now you should be able to see the document camera and the image from it for everyone on the, in, the, in, your, in attendance to see. So this is the Elmo imagemate-c.com web resource. It works in a Chrome-based browser. I'm using a, a uh, Elmo OX1 USB document camera, real simple. I have some other functions, but this is not about the imagemate-c.com web resource. There's another video on YouTube for that. This is to show you how to use your Elmo in Google Meets. So when I'm done presenting whatever it is I need to present, we're going to go ahead back down to that toolbar on the bottom on the right side you are presenting and click the stop presenting option and that will bring everybody back up on screen. So when you're in Google Meet, one thing you need to know is when you start presenting and you choose the window, you have to go up to the upper right hand corner and you guys saw my mouse track up there and click on it so you can see what's going on in the camera. So let me do that one more time for everyone. Again, the toolbar on the bottom, present now, a window. It's going to say share an application window. It's going to be my ImageMate plus C in my browser. We're going to share that. And you guys can see my screen is now says I'm presenting to everyone, but you'll notice that you don't see the camera. When I go up to the right hand, upper right hand corner, there's a small image of me and there's another option present, presenting you. If I click on that button so that the little push pin gets plugged in, now I can see my camera and I can see what I'm doing under the camera, but I do lose sight of the attendees in the, the Google Meet. And this is just a function of Google Meet. It has nothing to do with us. So I'm going to go back up to that upper right hand corner. I'm going to unclick the push pin and now I have the option to stop presenting and when I do everybody comes back full screen. So it's a little bit of a process in Google Meet, but that's how you can utilize your Elmo document camera within Google Meet very effectively. We also wanted to share with you another way to share your content from your desktop. Again, we're going down to the toolbar on the bottom to the present now, and you have three options, your entire screen, a window, which would be a window on your desktop, or a Chrome tab from your browser. So in this case, I'm going to click on Chrome tab, and I'm going to choose the ImageMate Plus C cloud-based software for use with Elmo document cameras as what I'm going to share. And it'll come back up on screen here in just a moment. And now you get to see what's under my camera again. But I'm just sharing a tab. The nice thing about this is it eliminates the toolbars in your browser. So you really only see the full image from the Elmo document camera. Also, if you're running a dual monitor system at your home office, you'll be able to see both 
the image from the Elmo document camera on one monitor and all of the attendees in your meeting on another monitor. Otherwise, what you're seeing on my recording is what you'll see if you only have a single monitor. I'm not running a dual monitor right now. So we're going to go ahead and leave that presenta presentation, leave that tab. I'm going to stop presenting to everyone and we come back to the full screen where everybody, all of our attendees are viewable. So again, that's presenting the Elmo document camera by using present now, a Chrome tab, choosing the tab for the imagemate-c.com webpage, and sharing your content that way. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at elmousa.com under, under the support tab or 1-800-947-ELMO or 3566, and we'll be happy to try and help you troubleshoot it. Um, there will be some additional videos about how to use the Elmo document camera in your Chrome browser, but this one is just how to use it in Meet, real basic and simple. Thank you to everybody. Good luck. I know everybody's trying to drink from a fire hose learning all of this uh, new technology to try to use for remote teaching and hybrid teaching, um, and hopefully we can navigate through it together. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful day.